Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Thursday, December 12th, and it's an S7 day. The SAT word of the day is plebeian, which means common citizen. Today's lunch is Philly cheesesteak, and today on the show we have a heartwarming story about a substitute teacher. So sit back and relax, because NHS Update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome to the show. I'm Renee Babineau. Right now, we are sitting on the NCM set where Santa reads his letters. And I'm Olivec. Let's get started with some announcements. Attention seniors, the Yearbook Club sent out two surveys looking for your vote on senior superlatives and teacher superlatives by email. Voting will be open until midnight next Tuesday. Please see Ms. Uppenkamp or Ms. Levitt with any questions. Now we have a story on our, one of our most beloved substitute teachers, Mr. Goff. Not many students know that he is also a writer. Junior staff reporters Jenny Pusey and Brianna LeBlanc bring us a story. George Goss has been a fixture at NHS for nearly 15 years. I started uh, 2005 after I was laid off from being a locksmith. I've been subbing here in several other districts. Mr. Goss is a regular substitute for Nord Public Schools. He says he truly enjoys his time with the students. I like learning from all the students. That's probably the best thing. But I enjoy teaching. I think education is important. And while he's mostly known around school for the coverage he provides absent teachers, it's not well known that Goss is a passionate writer with a few finished novels. He once wrote a historical piece about the American Indian Removal Act of 1830. It's about the treaty the Cherokees had with the U.S. and they were uh, exiled from their country. But Goss says his most recent project, a book about his wife Doris, holds a very special place in his heart. So Donna and I put the, the book together. Doris had written her part probably three years earlier when she was starting to write about her life. So I wrote the part while she was in a nursing home. Doris Goss passed away in June. Goss says that the loss of his wife has been very tough, but writing the book and telling her story has helped him with the grieving process. To talk about it, to put the last year and a half in some kind of perspective over 40 years. <laughs> over, over, over 40 years of a good life, you know, a short time. It was more, it was more difficult. Goss says he thought it was important to finish his wife's story because she had such a full life working and being a mother. She worked from the time she was 14 in the bakeries and then worked in the bank. And she worked as a, as a uh, activities director at the nursing home. Now that the celebration has passed and Goss is starting to move on with his life, he says he will never stop loving Doris and he's proud to have honored her with a book to keep her memory living on. I had to have the opportunity to celebrate her life and her work. I think she'd uh, like it very much. She, you know, wrote her part and then she kind of went on. That's kind of as much as she had to say, I guess. I think she'd like it. We think she'd like it too, Mr. Goss. Thank you for sharing her story. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Brianna LeBlanc. This is a picture of Doris and I a few years back. Thanks, ladies, and a huge thank you to Mr. Goss for sharing his story. Now for some more announcements. NHS Class Act is next Monday at 7. The show will feature a variety of talents, and the winner will be decided based on an audience vote. Pre-sale tickets are on sale now. Tickets will be more expensive on the night of, so make sure to buy your tickets from a class officer. Also, for any students working on the Memory Project, there will be an open studio time today to work on your portraits from on, in room 123 or 121. The theme for post-prom party this year will be Great Gatsby. Post-prom club will be meeting today after school in the library to brainstorm ideas for games, favorites, and decorations. All are welcome. Now here's Rose Donovan with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Rose Dudvin with your sports update. Today, Swim and Dive has their first meet of the season against Wayland away, and track faces Ashland away. 
That's all I have for sports. For more Mustang sports content, be sure to follow us on social media and check us out on Ustangs.com. Now back to the desk. That's all we have for today. Be sure to hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, Mustangs.